I searched for a form, or a formula, to mirror the beautiful music that is dissolved into everything. The thirst for light, the endless flow of thoughts connecting events with their reasons. I have found all of this reflected in water, in its eternal movement. cannot sleep near the sea. It talks to me continually. I listen to it and translate this cosmic language into lines. Happiness is in constant movement. We often say them together like an incantation. Happiness, freedom, what on the planet is freer than water? On a deserted bank, a long table is covered with a white tablecloth for me and the sea. A leaden, bluish, ice-cold sea. Our endless, silent, and tense feast. Touch the limits of the crest, the point of weightlessness, beyond earthly gravity. This happiness blessed by the sun touches me too. Water and light. Their love is primeval, their love is perfect. It showed itself to me openly through an endless form. The search for light which is truth, becomes necessary. Nightlight is fascinating, not repelling. It's man-made. Nightlight is art. Light can painfully cut a space. I create images without which I cannot live.
fish are drawing something in the water all the time. I do not know if they are hieroglyphs or baroque curls. I try to read them. Water and light are invisible without each other, heavy and intangible. They join together, and what happens is the miracle of the manifestation to us of impossible beauty. Water and light play, the game of the light touching the water, or the water touching the light. Fountains are capricious beauty, the coercive life of water in the city. We are all fountains. Light is eternal movement, music is eternal movement, and the breath, the breath of the ocean. The project is finished, and now I am moving through a collection of unperceived self-portraits. Am I going to become like the river, or will the river shudder like I do? <laughs>